Solomon Islands, Wikipedia Audio Coordinates, 8 degrees south 159 degrees east Slash 8 degrees south 159 degrees east Slash dash 8, 159 Solomon Islands is a sovereign country consisting of six major islands and over 900 smaller islands in Oceania lying to the east of Papua New Guinea and northwest of Vanuatu and covering a land area of 28,400 square kilometers. The country's capital, Honiara, is located on the island of Guadalcanal. The country takes its name from the Solomon Islands archipelago which is a collection of Melanesian islands that also includes the North Solomon Islands, but excludes outlying islands, such as Renal and Bologna, and the Santa Cruz Islands. The islands have been inhabited for thousands of years. In 1568, the Spanish navigator Alvaro de Mendana was the first European to visit them, naming them the Isla Salomon. Britain defined its area of interest in the Solomon Islands archipelago in June 1893, when Captain Gibson Aran, of HMS Curacao, declared the Southern Solomon Islands a British protectorate. During World War II, the Solomon Islands campaign saw fierce fighting between the United States and the Empire of Japan, such as in the Battle of Guadalcanal. Name the official name of the then British Crown Colony was changed from the British Solomon Islands Protectorate to Solomon Islands in 1975. Self-government was achieved in 1976, independence was obtained two years later. Today, Solomon Islands is a constitutional monarchy with the Queen of Solomon Islands, currently Queen Elizabeth II, as its head of state. Rick Hawanipwila is the current Prime Minister. In 1568, the Spanish navigator Alvaro de Mendana was the first European to visit the Solomon Islands archipelago, naming it Isla Salomon after the wealthy biblical King Solomon. It is said that they were given this name in the mistaken assumption that they contained great riches. During most of the period of British rule the territory was officially named the British Solomon Islands Protectorate. On June 22, 1975 the territory was renamed Solomon Islands. When Solomon Islands became independent in 1978 they retained the name. The definite article, they, is not part of the country's official name but is sometimes used both within and outside the country. It is believed that Papuan-speaking settlers began to arrive around 30,000 BC. Austronesian speakers arrived c. 4000 BC also bringing cultural elements such as the Outrigger canoe. Between 1200 and 800 BC the ancestors of the Polynesians, the Lapita people, arrived from the Bismarck Archipelago with their characteristic ceramics. The first European to visit the islands was the Spanish navigator Alvaro de Mendana de Nera, coming from Peru in 1568. The people of Solomon Islands were notorious for head-hunting and cannibalism before the arrival of the Europeans. Missionaries began visiting the Solomons in the mid-19th century. They made little progress at first, because blackbirding led to a series of reprisals and massacres. The evils of the labor trade prompted the United Kingdom to declare a protectorate over the Southern Solomons in June 1893. In 1898 and 1899, more outlying islands were added to the protectorate, in 1900 the remainder of the archipelago, an area previously under German jurisdiction, was transferred to British administration, apart from the islands of Buca and Bougainville, 
which remained under German administration as part of German New Guinea. Traditional trade and social intercourse between the western Solomon Islands of Mono and ALU and the traditional societies in the south of Bougainville, however, continued without hindrance. Missionaries settled in the Solomons under the Protectorate, converting most of the population to Christianity. In the early 20th century several British and Australian firms began large-scale coconut planting. Economic growth was slow, however, and the Icelanders benefited little. Journalist Joe Melvin visited in 1892, as part of his undercover investigation into blackbirding. In 1908, the islands were visited by Jack London, who was cruising the Pacific on his boat, the Snark. History With the outbreak of the Second World War most planters and traders were evacuated to Australia and most cultivation ceased. Some of the most intense fighting of the war occurred in the Solomons. The most significant of the Allied forces operations against the Japanese Imperial forces was launched on August 7, 1942, with simultaneous naval bombardments and amphibious landings on the Florida Islands at Tulagi and Red Beach on Guadalcanal. The Battle of Guadalcanal became an important and bloody campaign fought in the Pacific War as the Allies began to repulse Japanese expansion. Of strategic importance during the war were the coast watchers operating in remote locations, often on Japanese-held islands, providing early warning and intelligence of Japanese naval, army, and aircraft movements during the campaign. Sergeant Major Jacob Vuzza was a notable coast watcher who, after capture, refused to divulge Allied information in spite of interrogation and torture by Japanese Imperial forces. He was awarded a Silver Star Medal by the Americans, which is the United States' third highest decoration for valor in combat. Icelanders Bioko Gaza and Ironi Kumana were the first to find the shipwrecked John F. Kennedy and his crew of the PT-109. They suggested using a coconut to write a rescue message for delivery by dugout canoe, which was later kept on Kennedy's desk when he became President of the United States. The Solomon Islands was one of the major staging areas of the South Pacific and was home to the famous VMF-214 Black Sheep Squadron commanded by Major Greg Pappy Boyington. The slot was a name for New Georgia Sound when it was used by the Tokyo Express to supply the Japanese garrison on Guadalcanal. Of more than 36,000 Japanese on Guadalcanal, about 26,000 were killed or missing, 9,000 died of disease, and 1,000 were captured. Local councils were established in the 1950s as the islands stabilized from the aftermath of the Second World War. A new constitution was established in 1970 and elections were held, although the constitution was contested and a new one was created in 1974. In 1973 the first oil price shock occurred, and the increased cost of running a colony became apparent to British administrators. Following the independence of neighbouring Papua New Guinea from Australia in 1975, the Solomon Islands gained self-government in 1976. Independence was granted on July 7, 1978. The first Prime Minister was Sir Peter Keneal Aria, and Solomon Islands retained the monarchy. Early History European Contact In September 2012, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited the islands to mark the 60th anniversary of the accession of Queen Elizabeth II. Second World War Independence Ethnic violence Earthquakes Politics Commonly referred to as the tensions or the ethnic tension, 
the initial civil unrest was mainly characterized by fighting between the Azadabia Freedom Movement and the Malaita Eagle Force. And Dinan argue that the ethnic conflict label is an oversimplification. In late 1998, militants on the island of Guadalcanal began a campaign of intimidation and violence towards Malaitan settlers. During the next year, thousands of Malaitans fled back to Malaita or to the capital, Honiara. In 1999, the Malaita Eagle Force was established in response. The reformist government of Bartholomew Olafa ALU struggled to respond to the complexities of this evolving conflict. In late 1999, the government declared a four-month state of emergency. There were also a number of attempts at reconciliation but to no avail. Olafa ALU also requested assistance from Australia and New Zealand in 1999 but his appeal was rejected. Judiciary. In June 2000, Olafa ALU was kidnapped by militia members of the MEF who felt that, although he was a Malaitan, he was not doing enough to protect their interests. Olafa ALU subsequently resigned in exchange for his release. Manassas Sogaveyer who had earlier been finance minister in Olafa ALU's government but had subsequently joined the opposition, was elected as prime minister by 2321 over Rev. Leslie Bostu. However Sogavare's election was immediately shrouded in controversy because six MPs were unable to attend parliament for the crucial vote. In October 2000, the Townsville Peace Agreement, was signed by the Malaita Eagle Force, elements of the IFM, and the Solomon Islands government. This was closely followed by the Marah Peace Agreement in February 2001, signed by the Marah Eagle Force, the Azadabia Freedom Movement, the Guadalcanal Provincial Government, and the Solomon Islands government. However, a Keek Whale militant leader, Harold Keek, refused to sign the agreement, causing a split with the Gwail groups. Subsequently, Gwail signatories to the agreement led by Andrew Tee joined with the Malaitan-dominated police to form the Joint Operations Force. During the next two years the conflict moved to the weather coast of Guadalcanal as the Joint Operations unsuccessfully attempted to capture Keek and his group. New elections in December 2001 brought Sir Alan Kamakija into the Prime Minister's chair with the support of his People's Alliance Party and the Association of Independent Members. Law and order deteriorated as the nature of the conflict shifted, there was continuing violence on the weather coast while militants in Honiara increasingly turned their attention to crime and extortion. The Department of Finance would often be surrounded by armed men when funding was due to arrive. In December 2002, Finance Minister Lori Chan resigned after being forced at gunpoint to sign a check made out to some of the militants. Conflict also broke out in western province between locals and Malaitan settlers. Renegade members of the Bougainville Revolutionary Army were invited in as a protection force but ended up causing as much trouble as they prevented. The prevailing atmosphere of lawlessness, widespread extortion, and ineffective police prompted a formal request by the Solomon Islands government for outside help. With the country bankrupt and the capital in chaos, the request was unanimously supported in Parliament. In July 2003, Australian and Pacific Island police and troops arrived in Solomon Islands under the auspices of the Australian-led Regional Assistance Mission to Solomon Islands. A sizable international security contingent of 2,200 police and troops, led by Australia and New Zealand, and with representatives from about 20 other Pacific nations began arriving the next month under Operation Help Emfren. 
Since this time some commentators have considered the country a failed state. However, other academics argue that rather than being a failed state, it is an unformed state, a state that never consolidated even after decades of independence. In April 2006, allegations that the newly elected Prime Minister Snyder Rini had used bribes from Chinese businessmen to buy the votes of members of parliament led to mass rioting in the capital Honiara. A deep underlying resentment against the minority Chinese business community led to much of Chinatown in the city being destroyed. Tensions were also increased by the belief that large sums of money were being exported to China. China sent chartered aircraft to evacuate hundreds of Chinese who fled to avoid the riots. Evacuation of Australian and British citizens was on a much smaller scale. Additional Australian, New Zealand, and Fijian police and troops were dispatched to try to quell the unrest. Rini eventually resigned before facing a motion of no confidence in Parliament, and Parliament elected Manassas Sogavar as Prime Minister. On April 2, 2007 at 7 hours 39 minutes and 56 seconds local time an earthquake with magnitude 8.1 occurred at Hypocenter S8.453 E156.957, 349 km northwest of the island's capital, Honiara and southeast of the capital of Western Province, Gaizo, at a depth of 10 km. More than 44 aftershocks with magnitude 5.0 or greater occurred up until 22 hours UTC, Wednesday, April 4, 2007. A tsunami followed killing at least 52 people, destroying more than 900 homes and leaving thousands of people homeless. Land upthrust extended the shoreline of one island, Renanga by up to 70 meters exposing many once pristine coral reefs. Foreign Relations On February 6, 2013, an earthquake with magnitude of 8.0 occurred at epicenter S10.80 E165.11 in the Santa Cruz Islands followed by a tsunami up to 1.5 meters. At least nine people were killed and many houses demolished. The main quake was preceded by a sequence of earthquakes with a magnitude of up to 6.0. Solomon Islands is a constitutional monarchy and has a parliamentary system of government. Queen Elizabeth II is the monarch of the Solomon Islands and the head of state. She is represented by the Governor-General who is chosen by the Parliament for a five-year term. There is a unicameral Parliament of 50 members, elected for four-year terms. However, Parliament may be dissolved by majority vote of its members before the completion of its term. Military Parliamentary representation is based on single-member constituencies. Suffrage is universal for citizens over age 21. The head of government is the Prime Minister, who is elected by Parliament and chooses the Cabinet. Each ministry is headed by a Cabinet member, who is assisted by a permanent secretary, a career public servant who directs the staff of the ministry. Solomon Islands governments are characterized by weak political parties and highly unstable parliamentary coalitions. They are subject to frequent votes of no confidence, leading to frequent changes in government leadership and cabinet appointments. Administrative Divisions Human Rights Geography Land ownership is reserved for Solomon Islanders. The law provides that resident expatriates, such as the Chinese and Kiribati, may obtain citizenship through naturalization. Land generally is still held on a family or village basis and may be handed down from mother or father according to local custom. 
The Icelanders are reluctant to provide land for non-traditional economic undertakings, and this has resulted in continual disputes over land ownership. No military forces are maintained by Solomon Islands although a police force of nearly 500 includes a border protection unit. The police also are responsible for fire service, disaster relief, and maritime surveillance. The police force is headed by a commissioner, appointed by the Governor-General and responsible to the Prime Minister. On December 27, 2006, the Solomon Islands government took steps to prevent the country's Australian police chief from returning to the Pacific nation. On January 12, 2007, Australia replaced its top diplomat expelled from Solomon Islands for political interference in a conciliatory move aimed at easing a four-month dispute between the two countries. On December 13, 2007, Prime Minister Manassas Sogavair was toppled by a vote of no confidence in Parliament, following the defection of five ministers to the opposition. It was the first time a Prime Minister had lost office in this way in Solomon Islands. On December 20, Parliament elected the opposition's candidate Derek Sequa as Prime Minister, in a vote of 32 to 15. The Governor-General appoints the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court on the advice of the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition. The Governor-General appoints the other Justices with the advice of a Judicial Commission. The Judicial Committee of the Privy Council serves as the highest appellate court. The current Chief Justice is Sir Albert Palmer. Since March 2014 Justice Edwin Goldsbroff has served as the President of the Court of Appeal for Solomon Islands. Justice Goldsbroff has previously served a five-year term as a judge of the High Court of Solomon Islands. Justice Edwin Goldsbroff then served as the Chief Justice of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Solomon Islands is a member of the United Nations, Interpol, Commonwealth, Pacific Islands Forum, South Pacific Commission, International Monetary Fund, and the European Union slash African, Caribbean and Pacific countries. The political stage of Solomon Islands was influenced by its position regarding the Republic of China and the People's Republic of China. Solomon Islands gave diplomatic recognition to the Republic of China recognizing it as the sole legitimate government of all of China, thus giving Taiwan vital votes in the United Nations. Lucrative investments, political funding and preferential loans from both the Republic of China and the People's Republic of China have increasingly manipulated the political landscape of the Solomon Islands. Relations with Papua New Guinea which had become strained because of an influx of refugees from the Bougainville Rebellion and attacks on the northern islands of Solomon Islands by elements pursuing Bougainvillean rebels, have been repaired. A 1998 peace accord on Bougainville removed the armed threat, and the two nations regularized border operations in a 2004 agreement. Although the locally recruited British Solomon Islands Protectorate Defence Force was part of Allied forces taking part in fighting in the Solomons during the Second World War, the country has not had any regular military forces since independence. The various paramilitary elements of the Royal Solomon Islands Police Force were disbanded and disarmed in 2003 following the intervention of the Regional Assistance Mission to Solomon Islands. Ramsey has a small military detachment headed by an Australian commander with responsibilities for assisting the police element of Ramsey in internal and external security. The RSIP still operates two Pacific-class patrol boats, which constitute the de facto navy of Solomon Islands. In the long term, it is anticipated that the RSIP will resume the defence role of the country. The police force is headed by a commissioner, 
appointed by the Governor General and responsible to the Minister of Police, National Security and Correctional Services. The police budget of Solomon Islands has been strained due to a four year civil war. Following Cyclone Zoe's strike on the islands of Tacopia and Anuta in December 2002, Australia had to provide the Solomon Islands government with 200,000 Solomon dollars for fuel and supplies for the patrol boat Lada to sail with relief supplies. For local government, the country is divided into 10 administrative areas, of which 9 are provinces administered by elected provincial assemblies and the 10th is the capital Honiara, administered by the Honiara Town Council. Excluding the Capital Territory of Honiara There are human rights concerns and issues in regards to education, water, sanitation, women and persons who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual or transgender. Homosexuality is illegal in the Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands is an island nation that lies east of Papua New Guinea and consists of many islands, Schwazol, the Shortland Islands, the New Georgia Islands, Santa Isabel, the Russell Islands, Ngli, Malaita, Guadalcanal, Sikaiana, Maramasike, Dolawa, Yuki, Makara, Santa Ana, Renal and Bologna the Santa Cruz Islands and the remote, tiny outliers, Tacopia, Anuta, Fatutaka and Falki Atoll. The country's islands lie between latitudes 5 degrees and 13 degrees south, and longitudes 155 degrees and 169 degrees east. The distance between the westernmost and easternmost islands is about 1,500 kilometers. The Santa Cruz Islands are situated north of Vanuatu and are especially isolated at more than 200 kilometers from the other islands. Bougainville is geographically part of the Solomon Islands archipelago but politically part of Papua New Guinea. Falki Atoll which is closer to Bougainville than to Choiseul, is part of the nation of Solomon Islands. The island's ocean equatorial climate is extremely humid throughout the year, with a mean temperature of 26.5 degrees Celsius and few extremes of temperature or weather. June through August is the cooler period. Though seasons are not pronounced, the northwesterly winds of November through April bring more frequent rainfall and occasional squalls or cyclones. The annual rainfall is about 3,050 mm. The Solomon Islands archipelago is part of two distinct terrestrial ecorjuns. Most of the islands are part of the Solomon Islands Rainforests ecorjun, which also includes the islands of Bougainville and Buka. These forests have come under pressure from forestry activities. The Santa Cruz Islands are part of the Vanuatu Rainforests e Korjun, together with the neighboring archipelago of Vanuatu. Soil quality ranges from extremely rich volcanic to relatively infertile limestone. More than 230 varieties of orchids and other tropical flowers brighten the landscape. The islands contain several active and dormant volcanoes. The Tinacula and Kavaki volcanoes are the most active. Solomon Islands per capita GDP of $600 ranks it as a lesser developed nation, and more than 75% of its labor force is engaged in subsistence and fishing. Most manufactured goods and petroleum products must be imported. Until 1998, when world prices for tropical timber fell steeply, timber was Solomon Islands' main export product, and, in recent years, Solomon Islands' forests were dangerously overexploited. Other important cash crops and exports include copper and palm oil. In 1998 gold mining began at Gold Ridge on Guadalcanal. 
minerals exploration in other areas continued. In the wake of the ethnic violence in June 2000, exports of palm oil and gold ceased while exports of timber fell. The islands are rich in undeveloped mineral resources such as lead, zinc, nickel, and gold. Solomon Islands fisheries also offer prospects for export and domestic economic expansion. A Japanese joint venture, Solomon Teo Limited, which operated the only fish cannery in the country, closed in mid-2000 as a result of the ethnic disturbances. Though the plant has reopened under local management, the export of tuna has not resumed. Negotiations are underway that may lead to the eventual reopening of the Gold Ridge Mine and the major oil palm plantation. Tourism, particularly diving, is an important service industry for Solomon Islands. Tourism growth is hampered by lack of infrastructure and transportation limitations. Solomon Islands government was insolvent by 2002. Since the Ramsey intervention in 2003, the government has recast its budget. It has consolidated and renegotiated its domestic debt and with Australian backing, is now seeking to renegotiate its foreign obligations. Principal aid donors are Australia, New Zealand, the European Union, Japan, and the Republic of China. Recently, Solomon Islands courts have reapproved the export of live dolphins for profit, most recently to Dubai, United Arab Emirates. This practice was originally stopped by the government in 2004 after international uproar over a shipment of 28 live dolphins to Mexico. The move resulted in criticism from both Australia and New Zealand as well as several conservation organisations. The Solomon Islands dollar was introduced in 1977, replacing the Australian pound sterling. Its symbol is SI dollar, but the SI prefix may be omitted if there is no confusion with other currencies also using the dollar sign dollar. It is subdivided into 100 cents. However, barter system and local shell money are still prevalent in some remote parts of the country. Shell money is the traditional currency of the Pacific Islands. In the Solomon Islands, it can be bought at the Honiara Central Market. A team of renewable energy developers working for the South Pacific Applied Geoscience Commission and funded by the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Partnership, have developed a scheme that allows local communities to access renewable energy, such as solar, water and wind power, without the need to raise substantial sums of cash. Under the scheme, Icelanders who are unable to pay for solar lanterns in cash may pay instead in kind with crops. As of 2016, there were 599,419 people in Solomon Islands. The majority of Solomon Icelanders are ethnically Melanesian. Polynesian and Micronesian are the two other significant groups. There are a few thousand ethnic Chinese. While English is the official language, only 1-2% of the population speak English. The lingua franca is Solomon's Pigeon, which is related to the talk Pison of Papua New Guinea, but which has no official status. The number of local languages listed for Solomon Islands is 74 of which 70 are living languages and 4 are extinct, according to Ethnologue, Languages of the World. Melanesian languages are spoken on the central islands. Polynesian languages are spoken on Renal and Bologna to the south, Tokopia, Anuta, and Fatutaka to the far east, Sika Iana to the northeast, and Luani Ua to the north. The immigrant population of Gilbertese speaks a Micronesian language. The religion of Solomon Islands is mainly Christian. 
The main Christian denominations are, the Anglican Church of Melanesia 35%, Roman Catholic 19%, South Seas Evangelical Church 17%, United Church in Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands 11% and Seventh-day Adventist 10%. Other Christian denominations are Jehovah's Witnesses, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Another 5% adhere to Aboriginal beliefs. The remaining adhere to Islam, the Baha'i Faith. According to the most recent reports, Islam in the Solomon Islands is made up of approximately 350 Muslims, including members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Female life expectancy at birth was at 66.7 years and male life expectancy at birth at 64.9 in 2007. 1990-1995 fertility rate was at 5.5 births per woman. Government expenditure on health per capita was at 99 US dollars. Healthy life expectancy at birth is at 60 years. Blonde hair occurs in 10% of the population in the islands. After years of questions, studies have resulted in the better understanding of the blonde gene. The findings show that the blonde hair trait is due to an amino acid change of protein TYRP1. This accounts for the highest occurrence of blonde hair outside of European influence in the world. While 10% of Solomon Islands people display the blonde phenotype, about 26% of the population carry the recessive trait for it as well. Education in Solomon Islands is not compulsory and only 60% of school-age children have access to primary education. Climate From 1990 to 1994, the gross primary school enrollment rose from 84.5% to 96.6%. Primary school attendance rates were unavailable for Solomon Islands as of 2001. While enrollment rates indicate a level of commitment to education, they do not always reflect children's participation in school. Efforts and plans made by the Department of Education and Human Resource Development to expand educational facilities and increase enrollment have been hindered by a lack of government funding misguided teacher training programs, poor CO ordination of programs, and a failure of the government to pay teachers. The percentage of the government's budget allocated to education was 9.7% in 1998, down from 13.2% in 1990. Male educational attainment tends to be higher than female educational attainment. The University of the South Pacific has a campus in Solomon Islands while the University of Papua New Guinea has also established a foothold in the country at Guadalcanal. The culture of the Solomon Islands reflects the extent of the differentiation and diversity among the groups living within the Solomon Islands archipelago, which lies within Melanesia in the Pacific Ocean with the peoples distinguished by island, language, topography, and geography. The cultural area includes the nation-state of Solomon Islands and the Bougainville Island, which is a part of Papua New Guinea. The Solomon Islands includes some culturally Polynesian societies which lie outside the main region of Polynesian influence, known as the Polynesian Triangle. There are seven Polynesian outliers within the Solomon Islands, Anuta, Bologna, Antung Java, Reno, Sikaiana, Tokopia, and Vikotamako. In the traditional culture of the Solomon Islands, age-old customs are handed down from one generation to the next, allegedly from the ancestral spirits themselves, to form the cultural values of the Solomon Islands. Ecology 
Radio is the most influential type of media in Solomon Islands due to language differences, illiteracy, and the difficulty of receiving television signals in some parts of the country. The Solomon Islands Broadcasting Corporation operates public radio services, including the national station's Radio Happy Isles 1037 on the dial and Wantok FM 96.3 and the provincial stations Radio Happy Lagoon and, formerly, Radio Temotu. There are two commercial FM stations, ZFM at 99.5 in Honiara but receivable over a large majority of island out from Honiara, and, PAOA FM at 97.7 in Honiara, and, one community FM radio station. Gold Ridge FM on 88.7 There is one daily newspaper Solomon Star and one daily online news website Solomon Times Online, two weekly papers Solomon's Voice and Solomon Times, and two monthly papers Agriculsa News and the Citizens Press. Economy There are no TV services that cover the entire Solomon Islands but satellite TV stations can be received. However, in Honiara, there is a free-to-air channel called One Television, and rebroadcast ABC Asia Pacific and BBC World News. As of December 2010, residents could subscribe to Sitsoul, a digital pay TV service, retransmitting satellite television. Traditional Melanesian music in the Solomon Islands includes both group and solo vocals, slit drum, and panpipe ensembles. In the 1920s, bamboo music gained a following. In the 1950s, Edwin Nana Satori composed the song Walkabout Long Chinatown, which has been referred to by the government as the unofficial national song of the Solomon Islands. Modern Solomon Islander popular music includes various kinds of rock and reggae as well as island music. Energy Demographics Writers from Solomon Islands include the novelists Rexford Oritalo and John Saunana and the poet Julie Makini. Rugby union is played in Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands National Rugby Union team has been playing internationals since 1969. It took part in the Oceania qualifying tournament for the 2003 and 2007 Rugby World Cups, but failed to qualify on each occasion. National teams in association football and the related futsal and beach soccer have proved among the most successful in Oceania. The Solomon Islands national football team is part of the OFC Confederation in FIFA. They are currently ranked 184th out of 209 teams in the FIFA World Rankings. The team became the first team to beat New Zealand in qualifying for a playoff spot against Australia for qualification to the World Cup 2006. They were defeated 7-0 in Australia and 2-1 at home. Ethnic Groups Languages Religion Health Education Culture Media Music Literature Sport Cultural Issues Slash Concerns On June 14, 2008, the Solomon Islands National Futsal Team, the Kuru Kuru, won the Oceania Futsal Championship in Fiji to qualify them for the 2008 FIFA Futsal World Cup, which was held in Brazil from September 30 to October 19, 2008. Solomon Islands is the futsal defending champions in the Oceania region. In 2008 and 2009 the Kuru Kuru won the Oceania Futsal Championship in Fiji. In 2009 they defeated the host nation Fiji, 8-0, 
to claim the title. The Kuru Kuru currently hold the world record for the fastest ever goal scored in an official futsal match. It was set by Kuru Kuru captain Elliot Ragamo, who scored against New Caledonia three seconds into the game in July 2009. They also, however, hold the less enviable record for the worst defeat in the history of the Futsal World Cup, when in 2008 they were beaten by Russia with two goals to 31. The Solomon Islands beach soccer team, the Billy Kiki Boys, are statistically the most successful team in Oceania. They have won all three regional championships to date thereby qualifying on each occasion for the FIFA Beach Soccer World Cup. The Billy Kiki boys are ranked 14th in the world as of 2010, higher than any other team from Oceania. The Solomon Islands has one of the highest rates of family and sexual violence in the world with 64% of women aged 15-49 having reported physical and slash or sexual abuse by a partner. As per a World Health Organization report issued in 2011, the causes of gender-based violence are multiple, but it primarily stems from gender inequality and its manifestations. The report stated in Solomon Islands, GBV has been largely normalized, 73% of men and 73% of women believe violence against women is justifiable especially for infidelity and disobedience, as when women do not live up to the gender roles that society imposes. For example, women who believed they could occasionally refuse sex were four times more likely to experience GBV from an intimate partner. Men cited acceptability of violence and gender inequality as two main reasons for GBV and almost all of them reported hitting their female partners as a form of discipline, suggesting that women could improve the situation by to obey. Another manifestation and driver of gender inequality in Solomon Islands is the traditional practice of bride price. Although specific customs vary between communities, paying a bride price is considered similar to a property title, giving men ownership over women. Gender norms of masculinity tend to encourage men to control their wives, often through violence, while women felt that bride prices prevented them from leaving men. Another report issued by The Who in 2013 painted a similarly grim picture. In 2014, the Solomon Islands officially launched the Family Protection Act 2014 aimed at curbing domestic violence in the country. While numerous other interventions are being developed and implemented in the healthcare system as well as the criminal justice system, these interventions are still in their infancy and have largely stemmed from Western protocols. Therefore, for these models to be effective, Time and commitment is needed to change the cultural perception of domestic violence in the Solomon Islands.